Hey guys, uh, the craziest ginger here with a quick tutorial on an electricity system I've designed in Rust uh, for emergency power and uh, to shut certain systems in your base off if anything happens to your power sources. So the first one I'm going to show you here, uh, it uses an electrical branch here to control different systems in your base and one system is going to be an essential system that we always want to have on, like our base lighting. And the second one is going to be a secondary system that we might not necessarily want to have on, like battery charging. Um, so your electrical branch here, I'll show you the whole system first actually. We've got our generators going into root combiners, and then those two are combined for a total power output of 399, because one is being used by the counter. And that's going to a branch, which branches to your essential and non-essential systems. Uh, and your branch here, sorry about the crosshair in the middle, it's the build server I'm on. But right now I'm going to set it to 398. And as you see, one of these is going to turn off. Um, that's because what my branch does is it sets a threshold where if my power is equal to or below the number that I put in, uh, it's going to turn off those systems in the base. So if I now set this, so 398 it's at right now. You see there's 399 coming in. It goes into the branch. And then 397 is going to be branched out to our main systems. That's important. Branch out goes to your main. The rest of what's left goes to your secondary. So if there's nothing left after that 397, so if I set 397 here, there's nothing left after that 397. Now it's going to be 396. Uh, so this number has to be at least three below what this is, if you have these two timers here. So 396, sorry. I set the 396, boom, it turns on because I have one extra power. 395 can go here, one can go there. If I set it to 396, or sorry, 397, I don't actually have 397, so it's going to use the three, the whole 397 to go through this counter. The counter uses one. What's left goes there. If I set it to 396, well, 396 goes to the counter. I have 397 coming in that I can use. Sorry, 399 minus 2, because 2 is being used by the counters. System turns on. So what happens if anything happens to one of my generators? Oh, it got blown up in a raid. Non-essential systems turn off. Battery charging turns off. Base defenses stays on. If I wire this generator back up here, and I fix it, it turns back on. So what happens, let's say we set this to 340. Okay? Because my main power uses that much. That's how much I need. If one generator gets break, broken, check this out. Oh, I guess 340 was too high. 320. Three. Oh, sorry, yeah, each generator uses 280. Each generator uses 100. I was thinking it uses 50 for some reason. Uh, let's show you guys that one more time. So if you think about how each generator uses 100, if we lose one generator, that means we'll drop from 400 to 300, right? So if I set this, if I'm okay with losing one of my generators, I'll set this to 290, right? So if I lose one generator, non-essential systems will stay on. Whatever. I'm rich. I got lots of power. If two generators break, non-essential systems turn off, right? If you take your generators back here, let's place them back. Boom. I'll wire this a little messy here. Just kidding, I won't. I still am, I guess. Your system is fixed, it works again. So let's move on to my emergency power. It essentially works the same way. So I have my generators here, two generators this time, going into a root combiner for a total output of 200 minus one for the counter. That's gonna go out to my power in in the branch. Now my branch here is only set to 2. This is important. Set it to 2. You can do the same thing where it's a certain threshold. I'm only setting it to 2 
because if anything happens to these generators, I want my backup power to kick in instead. So you have all of it going into the switch. It's an AND switch, so you have all of it going into input A, and then you have the two going into input B for the branch power. <clears throat> so, one second, is that? That's not what you want. I realized as I was saying that that, that was wrong. It's not supposed to be two, it's supposed to be your total minus two. So this number, 199, I want this to be 197. Okay, if I set to 196, it should turn off. Sorry, 198, it should turn off. Yeah, okay, 197. Okay, so it's set to 197. It's your, your total coming in minus two. So, sorry guys, itchy nose here. One side branch out goes into the end. And then your power out goes into the end as well. So what happens is, just like this one here, if you guys remember, if there's not enough power going through the branch, if you don't have enough power for all the branch, you don't have any extra to go to your non-essential systems. Same thing over here. If you don't have enough to branch out however much you want, here it's 197. If I only have 194, none of it's going to go out of the power out because it's going to try to go to the branch out first which means one of the AND inputs here, input B, will be getting zero energy. Please move, I'm recording a YouTube video. Attack of the bug man, dude. So, your power out goes around, down, into the branch. So, this branch, you're only branching out two. Exactly how much you need to power a blocker. This blocks your generators. I'm done recording, by the way. Get the video's over. These guys, how do they know when I record videos, man? I'm way too popular on these Rust servers. Sorry, guys. I will be back with the rest of the video once I deal with these guys. Okay guys, we're back. Um, so like I was saying before, you've got your root power going into here, your AND switch. If you don't have any power going out, this turns off. Um, this is powering right now a blocker, which blocks our emergency power from powering everything. And it is also going into an OR switch. It uses one or the other. So what happens if one of my generators gets destroyed. Boom. Switches to emergency power. The block is no longer being blocked. Emergency power goes through. And at this AND switch here, nothing's coming out because we don't have enough for this. If I'm okay with only 100 energy, I will set this to 97. Remember, 99 minus 2. Look at that. It's working again. Emergency power isn't being used. But if that blows up, again, it switches to emergency power. So let's set this back up. Let's say I want it back to 197. I want it to work only if I have two generators online. If I have less than that, it does emergency power. Good power. And, but it's still not working. You see, we don't have enough going through. Boom, we have enough. It's being powered from normal power. The light is on. Alright guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there in your base defenses and electricity builds. Thanks for watching.